tonight we're going to review Medici Master of Florence. Now, this is the new Netflix show that just popped up. In fact, it was absurd. I got, uh, I, it was like December 1st or December 2nd or something. I look at my Netflix and there were so many Netflix originals that have come out. They have been pumping them out uh, the past 15, 16 days. Uh, not only this, but there's a couple movies, original movies, a couple other TV shows. And there's so much cool stuff, it seems like, coming out on Netflix. This is where I wanted to start. So this, I'm, we're going to give our review. Now, I'm only about eight episodes in. Sorry, I do have a real job where I have to work and not watch TV all day. But if I could, I would just watch TV all day. I would, and then review it for you. So I'm about eight episodes in, but that's you know that's pretty good. I think, actually, I'm, no, I'm seven episodes in, and it ends at eight. So I'm right there at the end. I'm right there. But uh, let's talk about it. So Medici follows, of course, uh, the Medici family in Florence, Italy, back in the Renaissance Festival. And you don't Renaissance Festival, Renaissance period. And if you don't know who the Medici are, they are some of the most influential people all time in history in terms of the way art was. They, you really could almost credit them with jumpstarting the Renaissance and really pushing us forward into the modern age that we are now. Because if you look at the timeline, that was right, you know, the Dark Ages not so good for like technology and freedom of speech and you know people you know expressing themselves and stuff and the you know the the trap the the exchange of ideas that's what i meant to say is it wasn't really happening during the dark ages and this is really where the exchange of ideas started to bloom and blossom and really just go spread worldwide also you, you got to look at other things that were happening around there i'm not going to get history on you but the world was getting connected more at that time than it had ever been um, prior to like the, you know, since the Roman empire. Uh, and so this takes place in Florence, Italy uh, with the Medici family's rise to power. And it kind of focuses a little bit in the beginning about the main character's father. And then it sh shifts over to him taking over the family. So this show actually is starring Dustin Hoffman and Richard Madden. You might know Richard Madden from game of Thrones. He was Rob Stark. Uh, that's who I was for Chris, uh, Christmas. <laughs> that's who I was for Christmas. That's who I was for Halloween. Uh, and, and so they do a very good job. So let's start breaking down. Let's just start off right with the acting. The acting is good. I mean, Dustin Hoffman, excellent actor. Richard Madden, amazing actor. All the character actors. Um, the person who plays Contessa, she's amazingly beautiful. And she plays a great role. Uh, Lorenzo Medici, he's a great role. I mean, everybody fits their parts except for one glaring detail that actually gets me it really does get me and that's the accents dustin hoffman has no accent richard madden has a british accent half the people have italian accents everybody has different accents even though they're all part of the same family so that's if i had to gripe on one thing everything else is done perfectly it's the accents it just throws me off now i'm not saying that it's the biggest thing in the world but when you try to immerse yourself in a show and all of a sudden somebody starts speaking in a totally different accent, yet that's his brother that he grew up with, it throws you off from here and there. So, yeah. yeah I, I mean, I guess that. it's better than them all having horrible accents. But maybe they grew up in different places because they're a rich family. No. They just send them all. No, they grew up in their same place. Okay. Mm, nah. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, so that acting, though, other than that, is like really this, good. Brian, with a, this isn't even an accent. Yeah. No, it's not even an accent. That's just you talking weird. But hey, yeah. <laughs> so that's boots, the acting. Eh? Uh, then let's move on to the plot of the story. The plot is, I mean, it's one of the most intriguing stories. If you don't know the story of the Medici, go watch the PBS documentary, uh, Medici, <laughs> um, and it, the Empire Special. It's amazing. These guys were just what they the what the imprint they put on the world was great and they didn't do it through the nicest of ways always they uh you know had some uh shady feelings here and there with a couple popes of that time you know and they i think a couple of them became popes eventually so oh, yeah. you had some interesting things going on but again you know they, they were moving people forward but doing it in their own way so it plot is excellent though there's lots of twists and turns it, it takes you the direction you think it's going and then boom 180 and i enjoyed it so far so that's been the plot has moved smoothly but it hasn't been boring uh so that's uh, there you go um yeah th those are the things i'm going to review about it now i'm going to give you an overall review overall i'm going to give this show uh, see i, I i'm going to go with a 3.75 all right i'm breaking it down that way that and the reason i'm doing 3.75 right. is because i haven't seen the final episode and if episode ends 
and I want more, then it bumps up to like a four. And if it ends and I, I'm cool with it ending, then it jumps down to like a 3.5. So I'm kind of in the middle of the two. So it depends on the ending. All right, so it's an incomplete review. Huh? 3.78? 3.82414. 3.8214. That's what I'm giving it. 3.8214. But hit us up. Let us know what you think. Have you seen the rest of it? Are you, Do you like it as much as I do or you don't like it as much as I do or more? Who knows? Hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at Words for My Face on Twitter. Google Plus on Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. But let's keep...